In this video, we'll talk about police officers who were unjustly aggressive towards people just based on the color of their skin. Let's get down to it. When the police officer illegally stopped this man, he had no inkling that this man wouldn't just roll over. In fact, the man in the car decided to take a different route, and he started explaining to the policeman that his pullover was unjust, that the officer had asked him to roll down his window without any valid reason. He firmly asserted that he hadn't done anything to warrant the officer's suspicion. Nevertheless, the officer tried to keep his composure and asserted his authority by requesting the man's ID. The man, however, refused and firmly instructed the officer to step aside and made it clear that he didn't want to engage in a conversation with him. Hands on me. You put your hands on me after you, you were yelling at me. You put your hands on me. I have yelled at you. You, you unlawfully I pulled me over. You unlawfully pulled me over. You unlawfully asked me to roll my windows. You didn't see me with tape, so you have no reasonable article of suspicion that the RT tape. You just did it to be a dick. No, I didn't. So go f yourself. I'm not helping you investigate me. Kick rocks, man. Get the fuck out of here. You are. Get out of here. You are. I can't walk. I can't walk. I'm a paraplegic, you idiot. Where's your, where's your thing? It doesn't matter where it is. Okay, give me that. Give me that. No, you didn't lawfully pull me over. Call another sergeant here. Call another sergeant here. You fucking put your hands on me and stop me. I am all the officers. No, nope. no, you put your hands on me. I want to speak to someone else. Talk to somebody else. Talk to somebody else. Give me your ID. Nope. Absolutely not. Give me your ID. Absolutely not. Give me your ID. Don't worry. You already got one lawsuit. Let's make it another one. Let's make it another one. Okay. Okay. Ask Andrew, Andrew A. Smith what's going on with him. Go ask him. Okay. Let, let's see. Okay. Let's see. You put your hands on me. So I can't wait to go file a complaint. You're a paraplegic, eh? Does it matter? Does it? Does it doesn't matter. It does doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. I haven't done anything wrong. The police officer didn't back down, and tensions were heating up. The man, feeling harassed without any valid reason, began shouting at the policeman. It seemed that this particular officer might be one of those individuals who had stopped the man not based on any reasonable suspicion, but rather on the color of his skin. The man informed the policeman that they'd meet in court and insisted that the officer should leave him alone. He was even open to receiving a fine, just as long as the officer would go away. Now that's the kind of attitude that gets you far. The policeman tried to assert that everything was being recorded on camera, perhaps hoping the man would apologize for the perceived injustice and pretend as if nothing untoward had occurred. Yeah, right. But the guy, undeterred, calmly assured the officer not to worry as he had also recorded everything with his own in-car camera. I've absolutely done nothing wrong. Leave me alone. You're harassing me now. You are harassing me. Fucking harassing me. Look at this. He's harassing me. He pulled me off for no reason and he admitted that. He pulled me off for absolutely no reason. He put his hands on me. And now look at him trying to talk to me. He put his head, head in my car. He's on my fucking... Get out of here. I don't want to talk to you. Get out of here. No, you haven't. I'm off. We'll find it in court then. I'll see you in court. Fuck off. Give me a ticket if you want. I don't care. I haven't done shit. No. Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket. I'll give you a ticket. For what? For refusing to... Give me a bad number right now. 1519. 1519. What's your name? Chef. Chef Touche. Touche. K-U-S-C-H-E. Okay, perfect. Perfect. You fucked up today. This is all on camera. Good. So is mine. So is my front and my back dash cam. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't care. That's how you are out here. Fucking cowboys. As this young man was clearly upset, evidenced by his rapid speech, his words made it clear that he recognized the cops' actions as harassment solely based on their differing skin colors. However, the policeman seemed unfazed and persisted in demanding to see the boy's driver's license, which the young man admittedly refused to provide. At one point, the man even resorted to shouting for help, trying to convey to the policeman that he perceived this interaction as psychological abuse. The cop, once again attempting to assert authority, mentioned having the young man's license plate number. In response, the young man made it clear that he didn't care about the license plate because he had the entire video capturing the cop's harassment. He expressed his hope that the officer would ultimately face consequences, even suggesting the possibility of losing his pension. Well, I sure hope so. You're trying to fucking assault me because you are fucking a racist piece of shit. Okay. So I'll give you that. I ain't giving you shit. Hmm. Well, you gotta Help! 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 Yeah? Yeah, you think it's funny, eh? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. You're violating me. You're violating me. You're violating me. Yep, yep. You're gonna be going viral, buddy. Yep. You're gonna lose your pension. How old are you? How old are you? It's so, okay. You're gonna lose your pension for fucking with me for no reason. This is what you call policing, eh? Trying to give a nigga a case that has absolutely done nothing. This is how the white cops do you out here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just want to say the word, don't you? Yeah, that's why you're saying what, huh? Yeah, just trying to give me a case. I've done nothing wrong. I haven't violated a traffic crashing. I haven't done nothing. And you're sitting here putting hands on me. I don't give a shit what you have. I have you on recording assaulting me. Yeah, we will be seeing you again. You know that. My lawyer will be in contact with you very shortly. 
When the young man demanded an explanation from the policeman regarding the reason for the traffic stop, it appeared as though the officer was trying to come up with a justification on the spot. He mentioned that he had pulled the car over to check for tinted windows. However, the young man pointed out that it was evident there were no tinted windows because his windows were rolled up and he had a clear view inside the car. In response, the cop acknowledged the absence of tinted windows and stated that the young man wouldn't receive a ticket for that. The young man then questioned the officer about the purpose of the stop if there were no tinted windows in the first place. It seems like the young man wasn't going to let the officer off the hook easily. I didn't give you, for what? You need a law for me to pull me over. Why did you pull me over? Let's get it straight now. Let's get it to the judge. Okay. Why did you pull me over? I pulled you over. Check, check you for tinted. Okay. Man, I'm off the lunch. Okay. And now that you know that there's absolutely no chance on my window, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do, partner? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You already, you already violated me. Okay, no tinted. Yeah, no fucking tinted. So you pulled me over for no reason. No, 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 no. No, no you realize you're going to give me your name and badge number and assaulted me. For what? Because you wanted to see if I had tinted? Because I don't have tinted? The policeman, clearly struggling to provide a valid reason for the traffic stop, came up with yet another fabricated explanation. He claimed he had stopped the young man to check his attention. Frustrated with the officer's inconsistent justifications, the young man didn't hold back and told the cop that he was the worst police officer he had ever encountered. It appears the officer might have realized his flimsy grounds for the stop as he chose to walk away without uttering a word. Oh, you want to check me for tinted? Did you wait till you see if my windows are up and I have tinted? And then actually fucking pull me over, you idiot? Like, this is bad police, and I hope you have kids and a daughter that sees this. It's gonna go viral. You're such a goof, man. You're the worst cop I've ever seen. In a disturbing display of racial profiling, a group of police officers confronted an innocent man who was simply waiting for someone in broad daylight. Their approach was aggressive, as if displaying their authority by showing their teeth. The young man persistently asserted that he had committed no wrongdoing, emphasizing that he was merely waiting for someone to meet him. However, the police officers escalated the situation further, pushing him to sit down and even handcuffing him. To make matters worse, one of the officers resorted to a baffling tactic, falsely accusing the young man of hitting him. It's astonishing that he had the audacity to fabricate such an incident, particularly when there was video evidence that clearly contradicted his claim. It's as if he believed that those who watched the video wouldn't be able to discern the truth. What the fuck me, bro? What the fuck is you got me for, bro? I already told you niggas is coming straight. You look goofy as hell, bro. Stop touching me, bro. Obviously, yeah, nobody's going nowhere. Hey, 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 what I tell you? I told you I'm waiting for somebody to come here. Okay. They right here, bro. Sit down. Oh, oh my god, you're I just Hey, you stop. Hey, we don't stop. Bro, bro, you goofy as hell, bro. Hey, Mr. Dadges, you making a big deal out of nothing, bro. You're the one You making a big deal out of nothing, bro. You making a big deal out of You real big though, huh? Hey, you real big. Hey, you real big. Hey, you real tough. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, where was I? Where was I at? Where was I at? Right there. I told you, bro. The ride to came, bro. The people came. I'm finna dip. Okay. I have no reason to be detained by you, bro. Sit down. Bro, stop. Sit down. Bro, you see your mouth. Sit down. That's fine, dude. You've already put my, you've already put your hands on me. Bro, I didn't put nothing on you, bro. It's on camera, so you can check it. That's all good. Hey, what we doing? What we doing? What we doing? Hey, look at my name. What we doing? What we doing? Dude, I'm talking to you. Sit down. I'm waiting for somebody to come. Okay. All right, bro. Tell him stop touching me, bro. First of all, stop touching me. Can't listen. Now back up out of here, bro. Listen to me. Bro, y'all okay. hella goofy, bro. I'm talking to you, and you smack me. Bro, nobody smacked you, bro. Why I smack you? You didn't? Why I smack you? You didn't? Why you didn't, smack you? You didn't hit my arm? smack you? Okay. All right, but why are you grabbing me, though? Why are you grabbing because me? Because you keep trying to stand up. Why are you grabbing me? Up. Bro, the fuck up, quit talking to me, bro. I ain't got nothing to say to you, bro. All right. The police officers persisted their display of self-importance, relishing their ability to assert authority in a rather senseless manner. It's rather ironic that their primary role is to protect and serve the citizens, yet their actions in this situation left the young man feeling threatened and overwhelmed. Then the female police officer advised the young man to calm down and take a deep breath. However, his response highlighted the absurdity of the situation. He expressed his inability to relax and catch his breath, considering that six officers had been dispatched to deal with a situation in which he had done nothing more than stand and wait for someone. That's hey, right. hey, did you look my name up already, bro? Gonna, hey, did you look? Hey, what 24 stand for, too? Hey, what that stand for? Is that a gang? Is that a gang thing? Hey, you got 24 on your shit, too? We're gonna talk to you. All right, talk okay. to me then. Give me all these cuffs. You take talking about I'm detained? Bro, ain't no okay. deep breath. Ain't no calming down, bro. Y'all got six cops for no reason over here, bro. Y'all goofy as hell. Bro, over here talking about, hey, are you smoking weed and shit, bro? Suck my nigga. Suck my nigga. You ass boy. You a nigga. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, bro. 
The situation escalated further when one of the police officers in the car made a video call and portrayed the young man as if he were the most dangerous person on the street, boasting that they had managed to apprehend him. He filmed the man in a strange, ironic manner and falsely claimed that he had laid his hands on the officers, a baseless accusation. The young man at this point seemed to have given up arguing. He sat in disbelief, pondering why this was happening to him when he was merely waiting for his friend on the street. He considered himself a regular citizen. However, he couldn't help but express his belief that their actions were influenced by his different skin color. It was a hard-hitting fact he couldn't ignore. The female officer attempted to offer words of support to the young man, however, he was in no mood for false empathy and asked her to refrain from such gestures. The situation took an unexpected twist when the police officers informed him that he was under arrest. And you'll be quite surprised when you hear the cause behind his arrest. They cited 241C as the reason for his arrest, and when the young man asked for an explanation, they told him he was being arrested for assaulting an official. It was a serious allegation, and it was evident that they weren't hesitant to make it up. As they escorted him to the police car, the young man expressed his concern about his safety, voicing his fear that something might happen to him while he was being arrested for a fabricated charge. He went on to call the policeman a corrupt person, emphasizing the seriousness of the situation and the implications for a noble position that a police officer should hold. I don't got nothing on me. I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm being a citizen. So you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, why, I'm, that's why I'm frustrated. It's not a cell. I'm sitting outside for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You really don't get it, though. You don't get it. It's, I understand it's, that you're frustrated. I'm, I feel like I, I understand you're being empathetic, and I, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't get it, bro. You don't. I'm not trying to say that I know exactly okay. what you're doing, but I'm just saying that I understand your So listen to me. You're being placed under arrest for 241C, okay? Yup. Alright. What's a 241C? Assault on a peace officer. Assault on an officer? Hey! 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 Come on! Hey, Ben! Hey! Bro, hey! You are a hey! Hey! Call! Hey! Call Jerry! Hey! Call Jerry! Hey! Nick! Call Jerry! Listen to me. It's hey, a misdemeanor. Hey, so sign hey, release. Hey! Call Jerry! Hey! Hey! Call Jerry! Nick! <laughs> you're a, bro, you a straight bitch, bro. Yeah. Hey, you except for uh, you're the one that hit me. Bro, I didn't hit you, bro. You started grabbing me, bro. I told you to stop touching me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Assault a police officer, you know it's on film, right? It's How far you think this is gonna go? You just wasted my time and your time, but it's good okay, though. That's fine, it's good. I hope y'all don't kill me in the back of this car though. That's what I hope. I hope you don't shoot me in this back of this car or some shit. That's what I hope, bro. Because you a fucking corrupt officer. You're for sure a corrupt Because I'm not supposed to be in the back of the car in the first place. Okay. When this cop spotted a guy with different skin color strolling through the neighborhood, he decided to play detective. He stopped the guy and demanded his ID because, well, he's suspicious. The dude, all polite and chill, explained he left his ID in the car, but handed the cop his business card, phone number, and even his full name. But no, that wasn't enough for this cop. He decided to go all out and declared the guy is detained. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The guy, with a mix of shock and amusement, asked the officer why he's being detained. The officer's genius explanation? Attempted robbery. Apparently, there had been a few of those in the area, and he decided this guy fit the bill. But our fellow wasn't buying it. He was just going about his day, so he casually starts strolling away. But wait, Officer Power Trip over here isn't having any of that. He goes all tug of war on the guy's arm, giving it a good yank. It's pretty clear this officer might need a refresher on what's in his job description. I actually, I left it in my car, but my my uh, my number and my name is there. So um, if you don't mind, I'd like to go on about my business. Well, hang Thank on you. one second for me. Hang I'm on, sorry. you're being detained. You're I'm being not detained. being detained. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Don't move. For don't move. why am I being detained is the question. Sir. Why, why am I being? Had a lot of break-ins recently. But I'm, I'm clearly, I'm clearly not breaking into we anything. Don't often have it's people walking up 
down driveway. Because people are kind of it? it does it's not I'm important, scared. sir. You're not in any trouble. Then I'm gonna go. No, you're you you just said I'm not in any trouble. I'm gonna walk away, sir. You just said I'm invest. Away from me. Stop away from Why do you keep touching me? Stop walking away from me. See, I'm but why am I being detained? That's the question. It seems like the policeman had a slow day because even though Mr. Arturo Love Jr. politely clarified what he was up to, the officer just wouldn't cut him loose. He kept prying for info that wasn't relevant, like his date of birth and social status. Arturo attempted to school the cop once more, letting him know that he wasn't obligated to spill the beans on all that personal stuff. After all, he'd already given the officer his name and phone number. Aturlo gave it to the cops straight, explaining that he spends his weekend mornings with headphones on, handing out business cards to promote his gig. No thieving or breaking into houses for him. Because, because sir, of what? For an investigation. Of what? It is we Sunday. It, I'm clearly not exactly. breaking into Sunday. anything. We don't have many people going up knocking on doors. Many black people, huh? Many Look, I'm not matter. committing any crimes. Okay. Then I should so not be detained. I, it's on the card. You have my card and my number. Yes, sir. I tour Love Jr. You have a good day, please. Dude. You're not. You're, you're trying to bother me. You're clearly trying to bother me. What do you need, sir? I just gave you my name and my number. I don't have to give that information to you. Because I'm not committing any crimes. You and me both know that. I, I just told you what I'm doing. You seen me put my card. I'm going up and down driveways. I'm I have headphones in my ear. You're you're the one causing problems, not me. Because you stopped me and I'm obviously minding my own business. I'm not bothering anybody. See, I'm not bothering anybody. I just gave you a little information, right? I gave you my card and my name. I don't have to give you that information, sir. How about yourself? I don't have to give you that information, sir. Okay, why not? Because I'm well, not I'm committing just, any crimes. You're saying you're doing an investigation on robberies. I'm clearly no, not robbing that's anybody. What I said. That's what you said. That you is not what you I said, said a break-ins, robberies, that's the same no, thing. Sir. We've had issues with break-ins. Okay. Okay, robberies and break-ins are two completely different things. Well, I'm not doing either one of those. Okay. The cop just wouldn't let up, and he even asked this man what his problem was. I mean, seriously, who's got the issue here when the guy didn't do anything wrong? The guy totally saw this as your classic situation, a white cop harassing someone with darker skin. He politely pointed out to the cop that his role should be about making people feel safe, not giving them a hard time. Little did the cop know that this guy was well-versed in his rights and had no intention of backing down. In the end, the cop ended up just observing the neighborhood as the guy continued with his day. The deal is you're stopping me and I'm trying to promote my business and make some money. That's it. I'm, it's not important. You're not curious. You're, you're being a typical police officer to a black guy. That's all it is. I'm just talking with you. You have this smirk on your face and I'm being ridiculous and so are you. Like, you didn't see me do anything wrong other than walk around. Since, since when, is, when is that a crime, though? It's, it's not a crime. Exactly. Then why am I being detained? Because I'm trying to find out why you're walking up and down. I just told you. You're, like, you're, 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 you're backpedaling. That's what you're doing. Like, I'm not bothering you. You're bothering me. You're supposed to be serving and protecting, but you're harassing me. You're harassing me. I gave you my name and my card. You can look me up on Facebook or in the system or whatever you need to do. I don't have to give you my social, my date of birth, or any of that. I'm not committing any crime, sir. So if you don't mind, I would like to just go on about my business. The dispute between the policeman and the guy behind the camera started because the guy was filming outside their police station, which didn't sit too well with these cops. Things escalated with one of the officers getting aggressive. The guy clarified he was a journalist and that he was gathering content for his stories. He also made it clear that he had the right to move freely and speak out, mentioning the First Amendment. Feeling threatened, he mentioned to the officer that he was armed. When the policeman requested the journalist's ID, the guy pointed out that he didn't have to provide that as journalists have legal protections. He even offered to teach the officer a thing or two about the law. Oh well, you don't need to know who I am. Lieutenant, why are you a captain or whoever you are? Why are you approaching me aggressively like this? I'm a citizen, do you understand that? Do you respect citizens in Florida? Why are you being so aggressive with me? Can you please back up? You have a weapon. I have no weapons. Can you please back up? You're intimidating me, sir. I'm starting to fear for my life. Can you please back up? Thank you. Not yet? Is that a threat? No, absolutely not. Oh. 
I'm trying. Why are you saying these are closed? I'm a journalist gathering content for a story, which is a constitution constituted protective activity. First Let's Amendment. You ever heard of it? I see some journalists. You don't need to see them. I'm independent. That's the freedom of press. Anything else you'd like to learn about the law? The cop's aggression didn't end there. He kept coming closer to the man. Despite the man trying to maintain his distance, the officer continued to approach, claiming he wasn't invading his personal space as long as he didn't physically touch him. The man rightfully called him a tyrant, not a policeman. Anything else you'd like to learn about the law? You're intimidating me, sir. I don't appreciate that. I'm not intimidating me. You are. Can you please stop approaching me then? I didn't approach you. I ask you for your name and your best. You street. can. If I feel like walking right, right toward you, toward your phone. If you touch me, it's an assault. It is. It would be a battery if I touched you, wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely. Not so let's not let's not do that. Let's not do that, Captain. I'm sure you respect. It. I'm sure I'm sure you love your qualified immunity. What's going on? Just recording. I don't know what his problem is. I don't know what his intimidation tactic is. Hey man, this is come on. What's with the tyranny, man? This is America. Did you did you take an oath to the Constitution? The officer then asked the man for his name, and the man humorously responded that he should call him Daddy or Good Citizen. This response was expected from someone well versed in their rights and capable of defending themselves verbally. Once again, he emphasized the importance of the officer not approaching him closely while being armed, as the man only had a camera with him. It was clear that this man had a better grasp of legal rules as he also cited the Fourth Amendment. He even suggested that the officer might become a major YouTube star when the video clip was released, and hey, he wasn't wrong. What's your name, sir? Did you take an oath to the Constitution? Can I have your name? You can call me Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Daddy, can I have your name? Daddy. Or good citizen. Which one do you prefer? Good citizen. But I really I really would you prefer if you back up. You're armed. You have all type of weapons on you. I have none. I'm just I have a camera. I don't want to get shot 20 times. Please. I don't know that. Neither of the other people think it was gonna happen, but it did, didn't it? So please stop trying to intimidate me. Follow your oath, sir. Honor your oath. Please honor your oath. You're gonna be a YouTube star, sir. Good. Yeah, okay. So they can see how Fort Lauderdale treats its citizens. Especially the law, you don't have to fight. It's not Germany. It's not Nazi Germany. There's no papers please here. You don't have to follow, understand who I am. 9-11 changed everything in the 9-11 didn't change my constitutional rights. No, it, sure did it didn't not. change the Fourth Amendment. 